Greetings. So I am going to tell you how I built my iOS application in just few hours using Swift UI. And trust me, it's really powerful and blazing fast. Swift UI is a declarative toolkit, meaning we will tell the toolkit what to create and the toolkit will generate exact replica of what was asked. More on that will come in the video later. Now let's talk in terms of Swift UI. Swift UI gives you two main important things when it comes to layouting. There are two containers that they provide. One is called horizontal stack and the second one is called vertical stack. We'll be using a lot. These containers will be used a lot when we are creating the application. I'll just give you a reference of how things are aligned in these containers. So if you'll see this portion will act as one horizontal stack which contains one image here and the second image here we might not be showing the avatar while we do the video session but just for reference this is one horizontal stack which has one icon which is this hamburger menu followed by we'll have one another another vertical uh, horizontal stack which will contain this text followed by an uh, icon after that we'll have one uh, another horizontal stack which will have two images followed by another horizontal stack which will have two images again now all these things as you can see this followed by this followed by this all of them are vertically stacked one over the another so what we'll do is we will create a vertical stack for this having this as a horizontal stack this as a horizontal stack this as a horizontal stack and this as a horizontal stack these stack will be embedded inside this whole uh, vertical stack the one with this blue background as you can see will create a v stack with these horizontal stacks now coming back to the lower portion of the uh, of the application ui as you can see we again have one vertical stack having one horizontal stack here as a quick statistics another horizontal stack as this now if we break down this you can see we have one image as one uh, portion of the vertical stack followed by a text followed by another text now one two three these image and two text will be aligned in a vertical stack and these vertical stacks here here and here I mean here these three will be assigned I mean embedded inside a horizontal stack which will be embedded inside a vertical stack so uh, while I am doing the session, I'll be using VStack and its stack, which stand for horizontal vertical stack a lot uh, to create the entire UI. That's the that's the main uh, fundamental behind it. All those uh, views, buttons, text, spinners, and whatnot, all those comes uh, as a pre-cooked icon, uh, pre-cooked item inside Xcode. Mainly, this is the this is the entire UI layout. Uh, let's get started and create the project. Now in order to create the project you just have to go ahead and open Xcode and click on create a new Xcode project. Now Xcode will present you with multiple options for the sake of brevity of the code. We'll just use single view app. Press next. Now here you can name your project. We will call it Swift UI test. Uh, remember to use language as shift swift and user interface as swift ui the storyboard is the one which was earlier provided via xcode however this is still available but for we'll be using swift ui in this project click on next select the destination folder and then click on create now when the app uh, when the project loads for the first time there are a couple of things that you will notice which is new first you don't have a storyboard by default rather you have a content view by default which is available to you uh, also one more thing that is there which is this canvas if you click on this resume button it will take some time and it will load a UI here which will look exactly similar to a simulator but it's not a simulator but pretty much a similar version of it. Now what happens is when this build is done, 
when we do our code here it will be able will be able to see the changes in the ui then and there short of a hot uh, reload kind of thing but not exactly let me show you what i am saying uh, by that so if i remove this and say swift ui and press save see how uh, this is reflected in real time and if i press play this is actually the app running inside the canvas we don't have to move to simulator this is the exact app that is running inside the simulator so let's stop this for now and get started with our project i'm not going to focus a lot on the ide uh, the image the image asset is already there with me i'm just going to import them here all the images are here i'm just going to do one more thing which i will let you know why i am doing it uh, well while i am doing the code you just need to change the render as to original image rather than default this will help you while we are converting our view into navigation view so this is the although you still have a launch screen storyboard which is basically entry point but then it will take you to the content view uh, Swift file which is the Swift UI file now as you can see we don't have any drag and drop tool that we used to had in the storyboard but still we have a pane where we can do uh, small changes when required uh, but we won't be using this for this tutorial sakes now let's get started with the UI now I already have this portion of the application open here uh, will be referring this image while we are creating the UI so as you can see first we have a sidebar icon here uh, so let's get started we'll remove this text first we'll create a V stack the vertical stack that I was talking about this is the stack uh, that is the stack we just need to create this now we have a V stack with us now inside this V stack we are going to create first uh, this V stack is basically holding the entire application. Now inside that V stack, we have two V stack, uh, one for the upper portion, one for the lower portion. So let's create the V stack for the upper portion. Now once we are done with this, uh, what we'll do is we'll create one horizontal stack now this horizontal stack will have an image so you can write down image directly here like this and use the uh, name of the image to get in the image or you can click control command shift l or this plus button uh, you can go to image here now all those images are here you can directly just uh, pull in the images for example i need sidebar icon i'll just drag in here and drop it like that and I will have the sidebar icon ready with me now we, I have the uh, image in the horizontal stack uh, remember when you change something sometimes the app goes to pause you just have to click resume while you do changes and the app will reflect start reflecting uh, what you changed so as you can see uh, I have this icon here the icon is white so you're not able to see it but still it's there now this horizontal horizontal stack is set uh, now let's move to the second horizontal stack which is this stack now we'll create this stack as you can see we have this stack which contain two elements this text and this icon so let's create that we'll just comment so that we can ref it and we can see if we are stuck somewhere so we'll create another horizontal stack followed by a text you will see how easy it is to create text so this is the text that we have created now i'll tell you a little about the modifiers modifiers are just another methods or property of the view element using which you can modify look and feel of these views although there are other ways of doing uh, changing the modifiers you can add modifiers from here as well 
but in this tutorial we'll be adding all those uh, modifier manually so first thing that I would like to change is the font I would like to make it a title so what I did is I just added a modifier with a title uh, property that will make it uh, look like title so this title is basically iOS native uh, style uh, title which basically all the iOS guidelines I mean, all the guidelines provided by iOS that is the same font style they have uh, basically categorized into title and subtitle and subheading which you can use just to make sure that you are following their guidelines uh, followed by that uh, will be changing the color of the text as you can see from the UI we had uh, white color for this so we'll do color dot white now this text is done here this is blank because uh, right now the text is invisible because of the same background color now this V stack as you remember this was supposed to be uh, with blue background so just let's do uh, let's convert this to blue background so that we can see what we are doing so remember when you modify you enter the modifier at the end of the view for example if I want to modify this V stack this is the ending point of it so here we'll change the background color in order to change the background color you just need to write c o l o r dot b l u e color dot blue color is the uh, color is the color class for them now as you can see i have a horizontal stack with uh, image and text here now this is placed vertically on top of each other this is what we wanted this is the hamburger menu followed by the text now this text will have one more thing which is image let's bring in that image this is the image that I was talking about you can just directly drag and drop here now we'll have to add certain modifiers first we want to make it resizable so that we can resizable so that we can change the size of the image now in order to change the size of the image what we'll do is we'll create a frame this frame will have a width of 50 and height of 50 now as soon as we do this you will see the image has come to the right size and it is pretty much aligning with the text now as you can see uh, this is the vertical stack here now this vertical stack is very closely placed uh, to one another as you can see prevent COVID-19 has no space uh, with this this is because of this trailing and leading space here we'll sort that as we go ahead now we have this V stack here and this H stack is sorted let's go back to the user interface now we have another H stack that we need to create which is this now this H stack will have two images again so let's start solving that so this is one H stack now we'll create another H stack now this is for upper grid icons what we will do here is uh, we'll create two images uh, which will be placed side by side let's bring in those images uh, we have self diagnose image here we'll just drag and drop to the H stack now this this image is basically uh, the image for the self diagnose as you can see clearly this image is taking the entire entire portion of the screen why because the screen is placed completely uh, I mean the image is completely placed in between so that it's actually taking the vertical alignment and the center align and the horizontal alignment now let's do certain changes in this first we need to change it to resizable so that we can change the size of the image now we need to make sure that we are uh, following the spec ratio and the content mode to fit 
this will make sure that the image is uh, in the correct aspect ratio which is provided to it and it is fitting the horizontal stack so this is one image we'll just copy paste that so that we can create another image which is self diagnose other one is e underscore pass if i am not wrong this is the e underscore pass underscore img now you can clearly see our things have start showing up we have two icons placed side by side this is looking pretty much clear now we are going to create the another one this is basically lower grid icons okay i also copied the comment but no problem now when the preview refreshes you will see that uh, we pretty much have everything in place and things have started to look similar to the ui that is provided to us so let's continue uh, in this we will change the icon we have faqs underscore img for this icon and report for this icon oh, am i missing the name of it i might be missing the name of it let's see it's reports not report its reports so this will be sorted here now we have uh, things coming up closely now as you can see we have a v stack which is this red i this red control red icon followed by one horizontal stack second horizontal stack third horizontal stack and fourth horizontal stack now you can see clearly that we haven't uh, added any padding inside it so we have to add padding so that we have spaces here and here in order to do that as i've told you that whatever modifier you have to add you have to add at the end of it for example if i have to add modifier here i need to find out what is the ending line for this which is here color dot blue will add a little padding to it now as it refreshes you will see you will see that uh, we have created a good space here which is making sure that it looks pretty much spaced and uh, pretty much similar to the ui although we won't be creating this much space because that will be a lot of space wastage but uh, this has started looking pretty much the same now let's talk about this text here uh, we have a text followed by image and if i press this if you'll see it is just taking this much amount of space now in order to sort that first we'll create a, a spacer between uh, these two elements i'll explain you why i'm using spacer as you can see clearly uh, these spacer are basically uh, used to create a sort of space between uh, between two elements uh, and we'll be using uh, using this uh, thing a lot inside inside our uh, in the entire project so let's continue building our page now we have this v stack here let's close this for now i have just uh, folded the project uh, i mean that portion of the code building the second portion of the application which is this one where we will show quick statistics now in order to do that let's first create a v stack now this v stack will have a text which will say which will say quick statistics or quick stats now this will have a modifier of font which would be a title and we'll have another text which will say helps prevent from viruses now as you know this will have a font type of subheading and 
uh, foreground color of gray to make it look like it's a description rather than text uh, it's saying error which is font has no member okay let's see sub headlines not sub heading it's sub headline and what is the saying has no member foreground okay foreground foreground color okay my mistake it is not foreground it's foreground color so as you can see uh, as soon as it refreshes you will see that this has changed to color i mean uh, foreground now as you need to see that these two are vertically aligned because of this v stack now what we need to uh, do is we need to create the next image line but before that you can see that we have this space left here and we don't have enough space left over here so that we can create the images so let's push this a little up by creating a spacer what the spacer will do is the spacer, the spacer will pull push this entire code on top of here so that the app has start the app will start to look uh, a little good also if you can see uh, this is not taking the entire space of, of the safe area so let's add a modifier so that we can start sending the code uh, and ignore the safe area and we'll do this to all and as soon as i do that you will see that all the code will will be pushed upward now this image is little cut down before we proceed and create the below portion of the application let's fix this and let's go back to this code and see what is the problem so first is we need to change the size size of the image so in order to change the size of the image first thing that we need to do is we need to make it resizable and then we need to create a frame around it this frame will have a width of let's say uh, 50 and height of 50 now as soon as we do that you will uh, this will, it will uh, have almost taken uh, the right size almost the right type and then we will have one it should, it should work here okay this is fixed now uh, now what we need to do is as you can see uh, this is almost touching the entire the in the safe area so what we will do is we will have this stack a little top padding so in order to do that what we will do is we will create a padding here and we will set edge dot set dot top to 40 now with this what we have done is we have given ourselves a little, little space on top also you'll see that this icon is just near to the text not uh, on the right side of the uh, right side of the image so we have added spacer on the wrong side so let's add spacer here so as soon as i do that you will see this has come on the right portion of it also this looks still at a little big let's change it 30 uh, it should look good now it's, it's looking pretty good actually now we have the upper portion of the application completely ready as i said earlier we won't be showing avatar here that's just because i don't have the image right now otherwise i would have added it now you would you would clearly appreciate the use of spacer what spacer does is just it just create a blank space uh, here now this is done under the hood i am not controlling it at all for example if you see this edge stack this is the this is the edge stack here now i've just added one image which is uh, this or let's talk about this text i've just added one text and one image and one spacer so the system automatically the sift vo ui automatically decide that i have to give this much amount for the text this much amount of for the image and then rest will be thrown as a space so that the ui looks uh, completely great 
so uh, we are done with the upper portion of the stack let's just close this for now and start focusing on the lower portion of the image now we have this uh, the lower v stack uh, let's start let's let's align it to the right alignment dot leading so this will basically send uh, these two things just right in front of it now first thing first uh, we will have to in this vertical alignment as i've told you earlier this v stack will have this two things which is one horizontal stack followed by another horizontal stack now this horizontal stack will have two vertical stacks now we have one v stack uh, which will have first horizontal stack let's create that now this h stack will have these text first now we have this h stack and this stack h stack should uh, have one v stack because see we have two ima uh, two text placed one uh, one uh, right to the another which is not right we need to have this text below and in order to create that text which is just below it we need to have a vertical stack so let's create a v stack and push all these here and you will see that this text will come right below it after this is done now this v stack uh, you will see this is its stack and this is the v stack so this portion is done right now we will do the alignments later so this is the first v stack now this is for the quick stats text and this is lower portion of v stack now this is the first stack that we have created this is first original stack inside this v stack now the another v stack will have another h stack sorry will create for the icons which is here this is another h stack which will have v, again a v stack with one two three elements image and two text so this is the first h stack will have a v stack now this v stack will have three elements image text and text so let's bring in an image mm, oh sorry passenger icon now we'll just drag and drop it here we have this and let's make it resizable and let's change the size of this image by adding a frame width of let's say 80 and height of let's say again 80 we have the image here now this v, v stack will have the number let's place the number text uh, let's add the number here let's say 3467 a random number doesn't make much important and then we'll add a font and this um, we actually don't need a font here we just need the text color here so let's add a foreground color this should be the same color as that of the image icon and then let's add one more text which is basically descriptions and this will say total or just say passengers right so this is our first v stack we just need three more of them uh, let's do that now we have three images the same images in, in a h stack let's refresh the review you will see this is exactly what we are looking for three images and separated well apart let's uh, let's just do that now we have death death underscore case underscore as you and if i am not spelling it wrong it should be the same spelling yeah that's correct 
let's change the color to gray and this color to gray and let's change number a little bit and the text and the last one is a cured icon and let's call it 12 and let's change the color to blue to match the icon now these are matching let it refresh great now this is matching we have v stack we have again another v stack yeah, v stack let's add a spacer between all of them here and here so that it is well apart now we have a h stack this and a v stack as you can see uh, these icons are actually almost touching the edge of it so in order to sort that issue we have to give this edge stack a little padding which is ending here you just need to add this padding here and this will squeeze a little bit yeah this is this has squeezed a little bit also if you can see this help text is also going a little off the line let's sort that out uh, we have a H stack here and followed by V stack. We just don't need this here because we need it here so that they are well aligned. And we also need to give this H stack a little bit of padding so that it is also aligned with this thing. Oh, I missed a K here. So as soon as the view refreshes, you will see everything will be aligned in the right way. Oh, we have still this problem. Let's see what is this problem. Uh, we have this H stack and oh, I shouldn't have removed this thing there. They actually this also needed along with the uh, the quick stats text box. So let let it refresh and it should be sorted. So we have this sorted completely, and as you can see, we have a completely working UI. We just need to add a little bit of divider element, which we can do later. But for the sake of explanation of the code, code you will see this entire page is completely up and running. We didn't took much time in order to solve. Uh, I mean, in order to code this entire UI. It's just mostly a V stack and H stack and a V stack and H stack combined in exactly right fashion, so that uh, so that our entire code is working. Now, before I close this tutorial, I need I want to show you one more thing, which is a navigation view. Now, what is a navigation view? Let me just add this code first, and then I'll explain what is navigation. So let's make it a navigation view and we'll wrap all the code inside this navigation view now right now what we have is the entire application wrapped inside navigation view that means i can add quick navigations to the page so let's just do that i'll show you how to create navigation i mean uh, how you can go to pages uh, based on your requirement so let's go to the image this image uh, prevent covid 19 image mm, which is our um, self diagnose image which is this image now let's make a navigation link here now before creating a navigation link we'll create a page let's create one more uh, swift ui screen which will redirect once this image is clicked so let's do that we have diagnose view let's call it diagnose view and create this swift ui now this is another view another page we were working on the home page this is the second page that we'll be working on now let's just hard code this for now let's call it diagnose view and if I resume this, we'll be able to see a screen with a center text saying diagnose view. Um, 
since this is the uh, this is the, uh, this page is loading for the first time xcode is doing the basic building uh, task once this is done we'll be able to see that this is done for the first time every every time a new view is uh, is created so uh, let's not wait for this build to be completed let's move back to content view and start working on the navigation so as i was telling you what we want is when we click on the self diagnose link or the image our application should go to the diagnose page now in order to do that we have to create this image as a navigation link so let's add a navigation link and we'll make this image a navigation link now or rather let's do one more thing uh, let's not do it this way let's just bring the code from here and bring the navigation link here now you will see this navigation link i, I just wanted to show you the uh, the different uh, property of this navigation link the destination is basically the next view that the app will go to uh, once somebody click this image so we already have created a diagnose view uh, for ourselves so this is this is basically the view that the app will take to once that the item inside this navigation link is clicked what is inside navigation link actually this image is inside the navigation link the ui will correct itself let us just let's just wait for the refresh now what is happening is uh, we have converted the entire view into a navigation view and we have converted the self diagnose image as a navigation link now let's play this so what i am showing you here is the app is loaded right the app is loaded now now when i click on self diagnose it will take us to the next screen which is diagnose view now i can go back using this so the navigation the entire navigation is already inbuilt you don't have to do anything in order to do uh, you know complex code in order to take those navigation to different pages you just have to create this these navigation link you just have to click on this icon and this will take you to the uh, separate page also these animation are quite con controllable you can change those animation real really quick now this tutorial will be pretty much it for the ui part of this application the part two of this tutorial will come with firebase integration i'll be talking about state observable bindings and environments while uh, i'm using the code for example you have done with the ui how will you bind the data i mean if the data is coming from maybe external api or maybe from local database how you'll bind that i'll be talking about all those things in the second part of the tutorial for this tutorial it is pretty much it i think uh, i have shown you all those things that is required you can see it's pretty much h stack and v stack thank you so much guys please like and subscribe that will help me get more videos thank you so much